What's going on everyone? This is RFBM, Raising the Financial Bar with Mark. And today I wanna to talk to you quickly about the Novo Bank. It's a business bank account that I personally own and I think it has a lot of benefits that you would benefit from. So without further ado, I'm just gonna dive into it and give you all of the different types of features that it has. Alrighty y'all, so let's just get right into it. So Novo is a business banking platform built for all types of today's business owners. So since launching their invite only release, freelancers, startup founders, and small business owners alike have been opening their business checking bank accounts in minutes securely and easily with no balance requirements. Now, just to be clear, they're technically an independent tech company and not owned or operated by a bank. However, they leave the banking to their partner, Middlesex Federal Savings. So that is the actual banking platform that's being used to be the engine essentially to their entire system. So just for clarity, I did end up looking into Middlesex Federal and clicked their history. So if you do research them, it appears that they've been in business for quite a while, 1890 to be exact. So more than 130 years later, they're still prominent. And here they state that they have more than $710 million in assets. So I'd say that that bank is more on the smaller scale, but they're definitely well established. And I'd say through my experience, them and Novo make a great match with Novo's technology and integration and overall interface as far as their technical ability and the bank to supplement everything else they need. And I'll also add that the interface on the website makes it pretty easy to navigate the system. So let's just go ahead and move on to the account features. The crucial part here, first things first, is that they're backed with FDIC insurance. And I can attest to you, just as stated here on their website, there are no hidden fees. Not to mention there are no monthly fees or minimum balance requirements. Another thing I can attest to is their simplicity when it comes to their mobile app. So the mobile app for me personally was an easy process for me to sign in. I also like the ability that I have to do different things as far as it relates to customizing things inside the system and also the different types of apps that can be integrated along with that so if you have square cash app and different things of that nature you can connect that to this bank account so i will say that the application process is simple i'm not sure if it took under 10 minutes for me but it is a simple process but i do want to skip over that and talk about the free transfers the mail checks and income and wires also the refunding on all atm fees this is a plus whenever i do any withdrawals from any atms what happens is at the end of the month they end up reimbursing me so that's one of the best features of the entire platform so although novo has very few fees i did check the faq section just to try to find out as much information as i could in regards to that and what i did find was a fee schedule that seems to be most recently updated 2018 so this was what i was able to pull up so it appears that they will give you a significant 27 dollars insufficient funds charge and a 27 dollars charge also for any uncollected funds returned fees with that being said, I would say it's a pretty solid bank overall. Granted, it's a virtual platform and not a traditional bank where you would be able to go to a physical branch, but I use it and I personally have my Google AdSense funds transferred directly to that bank account just so that I can have that specifically structured through my business. So if you're interested in signing up, go ahead and click the link in my description. I just want to let you know for full transparency, it is a referral link, so I will receive compensation as well as you as part of their promotion to apply for that account. So you go ahead and go through there and just get started. 
So just a heads up in the process, you'll go ahead and apply. Make sure that you provide your business email, create a password that you'll remember and have all the information necessary that best describes your business. So once you've completed everything they've prompted you to answer, you'll get the confirmation of its current status and also receive an email sent to your account. So what you can do is log in periodically just to check on your application status. At this point, when I initially did the application, it was currently under review and apparently it took a little bit over a week for my account to officially be opened. However, they just needed additional information before they created my account, so it might take you sooner. Just make sure that you fund your bank account because in the event that you don't deposit the set amount of money needed, you won't be able to receive your debit card and start getting access to your full account features. As always, I appreciate the support. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, family. It's been a crazy year so far. However, I continue to remain optimistic and overcome all of my challenges. I hope you do as well. Stay healthy, stay safe. And this is RFBM, Raising the Financial Bar with Mar. Peace, love, blessings. Take care. Our own mind has to be changed. We have to change our uh, mind about ourselves. Because this world is such a... Give me, give me, give me, give me. Everybody, everybody back, back off. off. You know, you everybody, know, everybody like was taught that from school. I, I don't come to bow, you know. I come to conquer.